This is Pat Bamber here for PSB Sports with the Huey Fury versus Joseph Parker. First press conference here from Fight Week in London. We're joined by the promoter himself, Mick Hennessy. How are you doing, Mick? Very good, Pav. Good to see you. Good to see you as well, Mick. Uh, Mick, firstly, what's your reaction to the press conference? So obviously, we saw uh, Joseph Parker's promoter, David Higgins, come in um, and say a few things. So, what was your reaction to that? Well, he, 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 what can I say? It was paralytic. Everyone could see that. Um, there was no need for it. As I say, it was one or two things. Fifth, for me, in my opinion, 15 minutes of fame, or it was because he was paralytic. And there was no need for it because, you know, I spoke to the board in the morning. They wanted to talk to David to re try and resolve the situation. Um, and I gave, I passed on the numbers for Robert Smith. And he had the numbers and he said, he was going to do it later after the press conference, which I found very strange. So, obviously, from what he'd done, I can see why he said that to me. You know, I mean, from your point of view, how would you assess the whole like situation from their point of view? I mean, because they're saying about the whole referee thing, um, the officials. So, how do you see it? And also, do you believe that the board maybe needs to act quick or, or maybe step in and do something? Or from your side, is it all okay? Look, I, me personally, I think that Duco left it way too late with the officials. They should have, they should have been on this straight away with the WBO and should have tried to act quickly with the WBO and the British Board, Boxing Board of Control. They've left it very late in the day, very, very late in the day. And the thing about it as well, for me right now, is that, you know, it's up to the governing bodies. It's the WBO and the British Boxing Board of Control. No one is going to tell them what to do around rules and regulations in boxing. They're the ones who pick the judges. None of us can, can do any different. So, listen, uh, what I can't understand, they're going on about a referee. A referee's not a judge. They're not going to determine the fight. It's, it, to me, it's all crazy. Additionally, though, Mick, um, obviously the fight is going to be broadcast on YouTube. Um, talk to me a bit about going on the YouTube broadcast route as, as supposed to, I guess, the traditional route of maybe going with a with a with a you know a TV broadcast. So talk to me a bit about that. Well, this is this is this is a point that because there was so much going on up there, we never got across. Mm. Uh, people are saying that we went with YouTube because we never had any TV partner. Now we had a few offers, but we chose to go with YouTube. You know, we see that there could be a massive future there. We, it's it's, it's 1.5 billion unique users, and we want to try and tap into that market. And it's it, it's you, you know, as I say, it's it's the biggest video platform in the world. You know, why why wouldn't you want to go that route? You know, people are saying, ah, oh, you know, it's a stream. You know, you know, UEFA Cup was has been done on on. on YouTube, the, the 2012 Olympics YouTube, the recent World Championships, so you know some of the biggest sporting events worldwide are going that way and this is, this is where this is where World Championship Boxing will start heading because you know you've got the option to watch it everywhere, you've got, you can watch it from your phone to your tablet to your smart TV and literally 15% of YouTube users are actually using their smart TV to watch things now and that is the that is the biggest increase in audience for YouTube on smart TVs so it is it's 100% it's, it's the future and obviously as well like YouTube is available as you mentioned it's over 1.5 billion people worldwide so in terms of the actual market you can potentially tap into I mean if, for example this, this interview is going out on YouTube and you know many other video journalists are as well are going to be using YouTube so it's a great market to get into as you say well, definitely and, and like for, 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 for all the people watching this think about how many times you go if you're a boxing fan think about how many times you go onto YouTube I do it myself if I want to look at an amateur boxer if I'm looking for someone to see you know who's a good amateur um, and I want to check out to see if there's any videos around I go on YouTube if I want to check out a pro I'll go onto YouTube if I want to find some interviews that someone's done I'll go onto YouTube if I want to find a show that was done two weeks ago I'll look on YouTube you think about how much boxing people use YouTube we're already using it day in day out why not do it for massive 
live world championship fights. Absolutely, and Mick, in terms of the actual fight itself with uh, Huey and Joseph, I actually mentioned mentioned this to, to Joseph in the interview we did. I've noticed like, in interviews he's done in places such as uh, Sky Sports News, there's a carrot sort of being dangled in front of his eyes because a lot of people are asking him about the the next fight. They're always saying, oh, how about if you fight, when you win this fight, who do you see fighting next? But the thing about him is that he seems to be very composed in the interview. He's saying that he's fully focused on Huey. Um, so how are you assessing the fight now it is here, it is fight week? How do you see it here on Saturday? Well, uh, look, I think I think his team are the ones who've been taking things lightly. That his team have been sort of like more after, you know, trying to do unification fights and stuff like that. Uh, and, and I don't think they thought this fight was going to happen. But as a fighter, I think Joseph Parker is a true professional. I don't think he would ever underestimate Huey Fury. He's a, he's a world amateur champion. He's got pedigree. He's, he's, he's a master boxer and, 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 and he's starting to really punch now as well. I, 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 think, I think Joseph Parker's a sensible man, I think he's a warrior, I think he's a professional and I, don't, I think he's one, of the, one or two people that hasn't been underestimating Huey. I think he'll be prepared. Uh, additionally, from Huey's point of view as well, obviously we, we've, we've spoken to Peter about it as well, how, how training camp's going. So it's obviously been a hard, tough, grueling training camp, many rounds of sparring, um, etc. So, what are you expecting from your man on Saturday night? He, he's had a gruelling, gruelling camp. I mean, Peter doesn't do anything, anything else, you know. Um, hard, hard work, dedication. You know, that applies to Peter Fury. Um, he's, put, he's put on the best of facilities, the best of sparring partners. He's left no stone unturned. And um, he's been doing it in a great, a great environment up in the Lake District. So, and you know, Huey's, Huey's basically come through that and you know, every, everything is good. We, we, we haven't got any problems coming out of the camp. He's ready to fight. So we're, we're very excited that Huey's ready. And we've got, a, we've got a great world heavyweight title fight on our hands. What we consider to be a 50-50 fight. We obviously fancy our man. He's our man, we know what he's capable of. You know, we're back into the hill, but on, on paper for everyone watching this, it doesn't get more competitive as, as fights goes. For sure, and obviously as well, you know, in terms of the World Heavyweight titles or the WBO Heavyweight title, obviously the last man to hold it in the Fury family was Tyson Fury, and now Huey's going to get a chance to fight for yeah. that title as well. So how special do you think it will be for the Fury family to reclaim that WBO Heavyweight title as well? I think it'd be fantastic. Uh, I mean, look, they're, they're a fighting family. Um, they've got it in their blood. Um, they've, they're, they're, they're proving that left, right, and centre. Um, you know what an achievement for one family. Uh, we pulled this off Saturday night, which I believe we're definitely going to. Um, it's, it's it's history, isn't it, for the Fury family? It really is. Mick, final words ahead of fight night. What can the fans expect? Tuning in on YouTube. What can they expect on Saturday night? Can you feel just a park at the Mansur Arena? Well, first and foremost, tune in to youtube.com slash Parker Fury to see the most competitive heavyweight title fight you're going to see in years. This is the real deal. There's, there's a lot of hype around a lot of other heavyweight title fights, but this is 50-50. This is two young guns who are in their prime. They're undefeated. They're modern day big heavyweights and they've both got brilliant sort of like merits in different uh, different, uh, different things they do. So I, I, I think we've got super fight in our hands and um, tune in, you know, it's, it, you, you're going to witness you're going to witness a new world champion on Saturday night. Make Hennessy from Hennessy Sports. Oh, actually, make sorry, one more. Um, any update on Hennessy Sports? Anything going on in, in that um, area at the moment? Obviously, we've got this on Saturday night, which is absolutely huge, but anything else happening with Hennessy Sports at the minute? Well, we we've got a new new TV platform here so we're focusing on this fight and then we'll, we'll be looking at other projects and other fighters in the near future. Mick Hennessy, thank you very much for your time today for PSP Sports so wish you all the best ahead of Saturday and fingers crossed we can catch up with you in fight week. Thanks man. Thanks a lot.